week's portion, the Torah teaches us a prototype for kindness, for giving. And the Torah says, if your brother becomes needy, the hechazaktabo, strengthen him. The Medrash says that the words strengthen him are actually a message to us not to be discouraged, that if we helped, help him again, help him again, help him again, make sure that you've taken care of everything that he needs. Do not stop and do not become deflated and discouraged. This is actually alluded to in Psalm 23, the beautiful Psalm of King David, where he says, may goodness and kindness pursue me all the days of my life. The Chafetz Chaim asks, pursue me? Goodness and kindness pursue a person? An enemy pursues me. A, someone who's coming to harm me pursues me. Goodness and kindness are, are wonderful things. How can we call goodness and kindness a pursuer? So the Chafetz Chaim explains that King David is telling us that sometimes in our mind, we can become discouraged and overwhelmed and view the goodness and kindness that we do as the cause of our problems and our issues. And King David is saying, let's pray to God that goodness and kindness should be my issues. Everyone has to have challenges in life. May my challenges be, how do I do the mitzvah of goodness and kindness and not, God forbid, other challenges and other problems and issues. So keep at it, not to be discouraged. And King David promises, may goodness and kindness pursue me all the days of my life if I am persistent in accepting the challenge of helping others, being involved in the community, helping the needs of the people who are outside of our circle and within our circle, then you shall dwell in the house of God for length of days. Have a fabulously beautiful Shabbos.